All right, so I've been seeing Horus stun everywhere. We're talking light and darkness dragon, some oldie but goodie cards, the wicked avatar, all kinds of crazy stuff enabled by the Horus engine. But I don't like stun decks. I don't like to play slower decks. I do like to control the game in more mid rangey kind of combos. Uh, so I thought, what if instead of making Horus slow, what if we sped it up a bit? All right, so uh, one of the ways that we're speeding up the deck is actually adding Vision Resonator from our Zero to Hero deck. By the way, check out the series. I'll put a link to it if you haven't seen it already. Super cool series. Uh, but yeah, uh, we put the Vision Resonators in the deck. We put a Crimson Gaia, and that gives us access to Synchro lines. Super cool. And we've added a couple of other things as well. And another thing that I noticed from playtesting the deck and brewing it up with Adam behind the camera and a couple of other people, uh, we noticed we need a little bit more power in the deck. Things that if we get hand trapped once, we don't just end our turn. And that's where the old Dragon Link cards come in. Things like Collapse Serpent and Wiver Buster, I think are the names, but the level fours that add each other when they're summoned, Chaos Space, and a couple of other ways to search those. We also added the baby red metal dragons, so we can add Red Eyes Darkness Dragon, and we can consistently make Seal, the higher attic Seal of Dragons. Awesome so far, it's been great in testing, great for combating Flamberge, super excited to see where it goes. What's up guys? My opinion on this new format, it's pretty trash. You should probably play One Piece. What is your opinion on this current uh, ban list that we have? What should be banned, what shouldn't be banned? But tell us about how you feel about this current situation that we're in with this fire metal. Um, so, to be honest, uh, it kind of sucks. I only really like it because it's salad. But if you want to play a better card game, One Piece? We're here on the Saturday tournament. Uh, we've played two tournaments with the deck so far. By the way, sponsored by Starbucks, fantastic. Not really, I wish. Please, give me money. Um, yeah, so we're here on Saturday. Uh, we just ended round three. Uh, we are uh, two and one. Sorry, I'm trying to think of what we played round two, but anyway, oh yeah, that's right. That's right, now I remember. Uh, we played against Voiceless Voice round two. We ended up losing, unfortunately. It was just a series of like weird hands and hand traps that like perfectly like tackled each other. And it got into a really weird board state and ended up with us losing. Uh, we activated seal, sacking, attempted to summon from deck. We needed the follow up. Uh, ended up getting ashed as the last card in hand. It was really unfortunate, but we rounds one rounds one and three. Um, it is five rounds today with 30 people, meaning that if we lose any more, we're probably not going to make it in unless we lose the last round. So if we lose round four, uh, it's probably not looking good. If we lose round five, we might be able to get in. We might be able to sneak in. Uh, but losing round four would be really tough. So uh, let's keep going. You know, I have, I have some faith in this Horus deck. We're trying to make it go burr, trying to make it go fast. And yeah. All right, we're opening up Bryn YGO's tournament entry pack. Hoping for an ulti, get some store cred. Here we go. What do we got? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I Ooh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. 50 cents right here. I tell you. All right. That was a crazy camera movement, but we're here. I uh, had cool stuff for the second tournament we've played with this deck. Uh, I am not proud to say we did not top the second time, but um, we did get first place on Thursday. So of the two tournaments, you know, our total record was we played five rounds and then we played another five rounds today. So we are actually we're eight and two. That's that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So um, I want to go ahead and take a look here at the deck list. Uh, but before we do, shout out. A potential new card we'll be playing in a different deck soon. Super hyped on this card. Uh, the Jump Promos, if you ever played the Wicked cards or know what they are, they were like the anti-god card. I love them. I love them. They're super cool. Anyway, moving on. Let's go ahead and jump into the deck. I do want to kind of show off what we were playing today. Let's start with the non-engine. Uh, mainly because, for some reason, I shuffled the deck. All right, now that we got everything sorted, uh, for the non-engine, because that's what we previewed before, three nib, two tactics, one called by. So these are kind of like the board breakers of the deck. Effect negation goes into three Baylor, into three Imperm. 
Uh, we are playing Chaos Space, which I'll show off a little bit later, so the lights kind of matter. Um, being able to like banish these with bestials also matters, but it's also like the second best hand trap outside of like Imperm, right? Uh, Imperm being number one. I think this is like the second best hand trap. Obviously Nib is like kind of a different role, but uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, wouldn't change the non-engine, honestly. I think I think it was super sick. Um, now for the engines, plural, that we played, uh, we played the bestial stuff with three of the Bellion. Uh, this serves as our non-tuner bodies. Regained is obviously a very powerful card. Uh, and the biggest thing that we need to be doing is just putting up pressure and not dying, which Regained obviously does a very, very good job of. Uh, Druid Swarm lets us live. And the reason why I played two Sarnir, I'm sorry that they're mismatching. I'm a terrible human being as a result, but it's fine. One day I'll get another secret. Um, is that there are hands where, because this deck runs so many different engines, sometimes you need to just go Lubellion, add a Sarnir, and then when this goes to the graveyard, you want to send another uh, Lubellion, which I'll go over some of the combos that you can do with that. All right, you know. But it just gives you more access to the Lubellion getting you regained. Uh, really enjoy the engine. Again, there's not a whole lot of a change. Um, this was a bit different. Uh, it's not super different, but we played the three M steady, one happy. I did play the three gold Sark. The idea was that I'm going to be consistently hand trapped on the M steady. So one, I need to save this for my last action, which I learned today. Uh, but then two, we need to be able to like try to get to, to gold Sark or not gold Sark, King Sark more um, if this fails, which we have to anticipate it's going to fail 90% of the time. Now, if it resolves, great, that's awesome. But I don't anticipate this card resolving. A lot of times when I'm pitching, it's going to be stuff that's going to try to give me some type of advantage at some point. Um, that or it's the Hail Mary. So uh, if we open this card, it's just even better. The amount of times I opened Happy M. Seti today was just disgusting. Uh, I hate opening Happy, but that's everybody. At least I opened it with M. Seti, though. So yeah, it. another engine that we played in the deck. This is where things kind of turn a little bit more into Dragon Link. We're playing Black Metal Dragon, the baby metal, with the Red Eyes Darkness. Um, love the altar, wish it came secret or something, but um, it's just good ways to get into seal. A lot of what we're trying to do turn one is turbo seal and then get to the horse cards. So this is a really good way to turbo seal. Um, yeah, uh, it comes up a lot. And the other thing too is like when you don't have access to engine, it's good follow up. So like if you summon like black metal off of uh, seal itself, like it's summon effect, that's also pretty good. Um, and then Red Eyes Darkest Metal. I mean, I'm sure it's talked about a million times already, but this card is just crazy. Uh, it gives you like, you know, different synergies, different things. So, loved it. Super good. Uh, we also played Chaos Space, the two Cypher, and then one of each of the Baby Dragons. The Cypher, I liked. Um, it didn't get stopped today, honestly. A lot of people think that this deck isn't playing the babies so it didn't get stopped a lot it's good like imperm bait so if you're able to get like another dragon on board or whatever the case is it's fine like it, it's just it did the job and then chaos space is obviously insane so this card like once and then it drew me a card and i was like wow that's why this card's banned or at one or whatever yeah i was like this is crazy it was super cool um and then if you're familiar with zero to hero obviously we have to play the vision cards um it's just a really really good engine uh, I saw some people play three of this and one of this. People are citing Bestials, so, and I wanna focus more on the, I guess like the hand advantage aspect. So I want this card to be searching this card, not the other way around, because we can always recycle this card from the graveyard, whereas we can't recycle this card. I don't know. Maybe flawed logic, it is what it is, but I really liked it, being able to thin our deck more and access more things. And Gaia, like, Again, kind of referencing the Zero to Hero series, it made me realize that I can apply this in so many different ways. And I'll show you guys in the extra deck some of the plays we were doing, but the bonus effects on this card really come up a lot. So, looking at the extra deck now, and then we'll talk about some of the plays that we can do. Let's start with the links. Um, Boral Sword, SP, Seal, IP, Dark, Striker. Striker enables your one card combos to get into Seal. Um, and then IP, Dark. I mean, these cards probably don't need an explanation. The weirdest card is probably Boral Sword. I just wanted a kill option. I didn't want to play the Selene line because it commits two cards. And I found a lot of the time that you end up with just like random bodies on board. And if you can commit into this, you can just run over stuff and kill people, uh, which is kind of cool. So it's just a, a kill line into random things. 
Uh, it doesn't die by battle, which is like kind of relevant sometimes, depending on the deck. So, uh, let's talk about the XCs. We played Harbinger, we played Zombie, and we played Zeus. Uh, Zeus is more for like the flu matchup. To be honest, we attack, we make this, and then we send the board. It's mid. It's okay. Uh, would I play it again? Probably. Uh, sorry about that. Would we play it again? Probably. But uh, I feel like you have to play it. But it's you know it is what it is. Um, and I'll talk about uh, specifically these cards here a little bit more in a second. But let's talk about the synchros. So we only played two tens. No, that's a lie. We played three tens. I I'm a filthy liar. We played three tens. Uh, we played Chaos Angel, Dispatter, and Baron. The idea is that Dispatter is recursion with disruption. Baron is just like our like what we want to go into. And Chaos Angel is the removal. Uh, there's a lot of things like Flamberge that we need to banish. So this card being able to banish the Flamberge is huge. Um, now there are times where like they get to Princess and we have to play through the Princess. And that's where this card tends to be not as great because they would just hit the, or use the princess to pop the flame burge. But there are random things at random times where the banish comes up. And it also, I believe it hits any card. Um, Shit, well, that's true. Yeah, it's any card. I haven't hit a field spell with it yet, but you know, it's local. So people play runic, people play all kinds of weird stuff. Um, and then the eights that we played, I see people playing this. And I was like, okay, cool. I like it because we're playing Crimson Gaia. This card just makes a 10. So I'm not gonna talk a whole lot about this card. It just summons back vision, makes a 10. Um, but making the Scarred, when you have Lubelion in Grave, so Lubelion will sack to the Scarred. And I'll pull that out here in a minute. So Lubelion will sack the Scarred, right? Which then summons the RDA. This by itself makes a ranking. So that's that's obviously super important when you have the guy on board because you have a red dragon earth feeding grave, something dies, you get to bring back so you float bodies. Now the other part is too, there were game states where I make Red Dragon Arch Fiend after doing some sack plays or whatever. Uh, I'll attack, book their board, blow up the board, and then I get to summon back Scarred, and that's why we get to play Harbinger. Because you want to be able to convert these bodies into something, and you don't always want SP Lunar Light. A spell negates obviously insane. So converting these into the Harbinger was awesome. Uh, I really love those lines. That's why I played the Harbinger. Some people only play like one rank eight. That's why I want to play this one. So uh, super sick. Really love the deck. Let's talk about the side deck as well. It's not um, I don't know how I feel about the side deck. I just kind of threw it together. Uh, but just to kind of show you where we're at. Um, so we played the two pink. We played the three droll. Uh, Pank is probably like the weirdest card. I just had two slots and I feel like I just want to break boards and set up my Horus cards so that way they can kind of carry the game from there. Uh, so that's, and droll really doesn't need explanation. You know, those combo decks where it just hits. Uh, the going first card is summon limit. You say, I read it. Uh, especially with Horus, like it's just insane. You stick Horus cards. If they're able to put a big guy out somehow, you just send it with the, with the sarcophagus. So they really have to out this card. Like your cards are just better than theirs. So, uh, and like, obviously it doesn't really need explanation, but some of them is broken. Uh, we played three cosmic. We played harpies, shout out Jeremy Mitchell. And we played two lightning uh, storm. Again, just kind of trying to break boards, crack them. And then we played change of heart. Um, I have one slot left, change of heart. Uh, it steals monsters, so against like, Weird things like Despia, or I mean, honestly, even like Fire King, you can put this in. If you think you're gonna be able to get to the horse stuff, you can use their card to make a zombie vampire. Uh, it's zombie vampire's hidden effect. So it just helps you break boards. Against tier, this card's like insane. Um, Cause you just like take their fusion and then it's just gone. Cause you just make an XEs with it. So, um, but that's the deck. Uh, I'm honestly pretty happy with how we did. Uh, let me show off the standings here. So. On Thursday, we got first place. Love to see that there. Uh, it does show a draw on here, so there's some complicated stuff about that, but basically undefeated. And then we didn't do so well today, uh, three and two today. Uh, didn't top eight, unfortunately, just because of the amount of people. If we had another round, probably would have done pretty well. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, Horus goes Burr, I really like the deck. I do want to try out the stun variant as well. So maybe we'll try that out. But all in all, I think this deck's a solid contender. 
Uh, my record against Snake Eyes was I only lost one uh, one match to Snake Eyes, and I played four total. So we're three and one against Snake Eyes as a deck, which is pretty impressive. Um, it just, I will say this, you do lose the shifter very hard. All of your cards have to go to graveyard for cost. So you can't activate anything on the shifter. You just you just kind of lose. So if you're trying to like be Fluendries, don't. You just don't. So uh, that's kind of my biggest takeaway. Is it strong into the field? Yeah, I think it does pretty well. It can keep up. Is it good into the anti-meta? Absolutely not. So kind of think with that you will, but I had a lot of fun. Big blast playing it. it was, it was super fun kind of reutilizing some of my zero to hero cards. Yeah, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Absolutely.